up guys learning with rich here uh, in this video or tutorial we are going to learn how to use revit to plan and design an electrical system okay so in this lesson we are going to complete the planning task associated with creating an electrical system so you will learn how to specify electrical settings define the required lighting and then assigning space color fills according to required lighting levels and we're going to learn how to create a space lighting analysis schedule now the first part of this uh, video is we're going to specify electrical settings so electrical settings determine the voltages wiring distribution systems and demand factors that are applied in the design so as you place components and create circuits Revit checks to ensure that components are compatible with the specified voltages and distribution systems speeding up the design pace. Okay, so in this exercise, we're going to review the electrical settings and then we're also add a wiring type. Okay, now the first part of the exercise is we're going to add a correction factor. Okay, so first let us locate the electrical settings. So you go to the systems tab and then you click this arrow here so that is your electrical settings or you can also type es so you click that and then there's your electrical settings so you will be able to see here all the options or the settings that you can modify for you to be able to properly design your electrical system so now the one that we are going to do is for the correction factor so there's your correction factor so what is this correction factor Okay, so correction factor is used when calculating wire sizes in the project. So ambient temperature affects the current carrying the uh, capability of wire. So this effect is uh, specified as a value for the wire material at specific ambient temperatures. So the, the correction factor is used when calculating wire sizes in the project. Okay, so you can click new temperature to add custom correction factors to a project. So let's say, for example, the material that I want here is a copper. So I click that drop down arrow. So we have two materials here. So we have aluminum and copper. So I select the copper. Okay, and then after that, so for the temperature, so I'm just going to type here or just select 90. So I select 90. So there you go. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new correction factor. So I'm going to select this one. By the way, you can also delete correction factor. So I select new correction factor. And then let's say this is for 90. So I just type 90. And then for the correction factor, so let's say uh, I'm going to type here uh, 1.05. And then I'll just select OK. And that's it. So it's now added here so that is now your correction factor now another uh, thing that you can do on your electrical settings is specifying your wiring type okay so here is your wiring types so you use the wiring types table to specify the wire types that can be used in your project so you can add or remove wire types as needed so multiple wire types can be specified for a project so as you can see the first entry specified in the wire types table dialog is the default wire type used for circuits created in the project okay so this should be the wire type used for the majority of the wiring in a project so you can select a different wire type for a circuit on its properties palette Okay, so let us uh, create a new wire type here. So to do that, I'll just select your add. So I click add. And then let's specify the name here. So let's say I want a THHN wire. And then the material is copper. So I use copper. And then for the temperature uh, rating, so I'll just use 75 here. Okay. And then after that, for the insulation, so I'll just use THHN, maximum size of 2000. Okay, neutral multiplier. So I'm going to select, I'll just use 
and uh, neutral required so okay so I'll just use all of these settings here okay so that's how you create or add a new wiring type for your project now the next part is we are going to add a voltage definition okay so what is this voltage definition so if you click this voltage definition again you will be having a table here the voltage definitions table defines the ranges of voltages that can be assigned to the distribution systems available in your project. So each voltage definition is specified as a range of voltages to allow for differing voltage ratings on devices from various manufacturers. So for example, devices used on a 120 volts distribution system may carry ratings of anywhere from let's say 110 volts to 130 volts okay so something like that so let us create a voltage definition so again i'm going to select add here let's click that one so there's our new one so i'm gonna select this and then i'm gonna type let's say 240 volts and then for the value, uh, I want 240. And then for the range here, the minimum is, let's say, 220. And then the maximum is 250. Enter. That's it. So we just added a voltage definition. Okay. Now, the next one is distribution system. Okay. So another important factor in your electrical design. So the distribution system table which is uh, this part here it defines the distribution system that are available in your project okay so this is the name okay so this is a unique name that identifies a distribution system and then you also have the base here so it's either three or single selected from the drop down and then you also have configuration after you click the value you can select a uh, uh, star delta okay from the drop down list so wires so this parameter is specifies to the number of conductors okay and then for the ll voltage so after you click the value so as you can see you can select from here you can select a voltage definition that represents the voltage measured between any two paces so the specification of this parameter depends on the pace and wire selection so for example, uh, LL voltage is not applicable for single pace two wire system. Okay, now the other one here, the other column is LG voltage. So after you click the value, you can select a voltage definition that represents the voltage measured between a pace and ground. So LG is always available. Okay, so let us add a distribution system. So I'm going to select that one and then after that, so let us specify the name, let's say uh, 120 over 240 and then the pace is single. Okay, so the number of wires here, so let me just make that 3 and then for the LL voltage, so that will going to be 240 and then the ground one is... Uh, let's say 120 okay so that's the reason why 120 over 240 okay so that's our distribution system okay so now for the last part is the this the demand factors okay so where is the demand factors so demand factors can be found here on the load calculations okay and then you can now see there your demand factor so you can click the demand factors here and then this is now your demand factors dialog box. So we use the demand factors to adjust the rating of the main service for a building based on the expectation that at any given time, not all the electrical equipment will be drawing at full rated load. Okay, so let's say for the power, so I'm going to select the power. Okay, so for the calculation method, so I'm just going to use uh, by load because you also have here constant, you also have here by quantity, and then you have uh, by load. So if you select uh, constant, 
So you can specify a constant demand factor to be applied to the load. The other one is by quantity. So you can specify uh, several quantity ranges for uh, connected objects and apply a different demand factor to each range or apply the same demand factor to all objects depending on how many objects are connected. The other one here is uh, by load. Okay, so you can specify several load ranges uh, for an object and apply a different demand factor to each range or apply the same demand factor to the total load connected to the panel. So let's say, for example, I'll just use uh, by load here. And then for the calculation options, so I'll use incrementally for each range. Now, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to add one here. 10,000 volt amperes so that is a split okay split so I'm gonna click this one and then I'm going to split again so it will make uh, 20,000 volt amps here so greater than 10,000 volt amps less than or equal to 20,000 volt amps so the demand factor will gonna be 100 percent now, for the greater than 20,000 volt amps, up to unlimited, so I want the demand factor to be 50% only. Something like that. Okay? So that's how you uh, modify some settings on the electrical settings for your electrical design. So after this, I've done, so you just select OK. And then just select OK. Alright? So that's it. So on our next video... We are going to create a schedule to define the required lighting levels. And then we are going to assign lighting levels to spaces. Okay? So, thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.